Hi, I'm Peter Knight from Golf Possibilities. In this video, I want to look at how the right arm works during the golf swing. It actually doesn't have to move a whole lot. If I make a practice swing and go to the top of my back swing, take my right hand off and then bring my body back to here, all I've really done from address is move my right arm from here up to here. I don't have to have a whole heap of movement into it. And a lot of players, when they swing the club back and through, they'll finish up with their right arm going all over the place, often called a flying right elbow. Let's have a look at some of the reasons for that. First of all, when I set myself up to play a shot, my right elbow is pointing toward my right hip. It's not tucked against it, it's just pointing there. As I begin my backswing, my right elbow is still pointing toward my right hip. If I start my backswing and my right elbow starts to rotate out, then I'm in trouble. It's going to affect the club face, my ability to turn correctly, and ultimately my shot. The other thing is that if I swing the club back and shrug or lift my shoulder, my right shoulder, or pull it back, then that's going to have an effect on what I do with my swing as well. Now the arm rotating out and the shoulder lifting or pulling back are extremely common. So what are the thoughts about swinging the club correctly? First of all, the right elbow should and point toward the right hip and the shoulder should be soft so that when the club swings back to the top of the swing, there's been no shrugging, no pulling back with my right shoulder as I go back to the top of my swing. If I rotate the arm out, or pull the shoulder up, as I said before, I'm in trouble. If I allow the right elbow to point to the right hip and start that way as I begin my backswing and keep my right shoulder soft, and then from there continue to turn back to the top of the swing, all of a sudden my right arm's in a completely different position. Most of the problems that occur with the right arm, particularly the flying right elbow, occur because of extra effort that's put into the swing or tension that might be held in the arm or the shoulder. Have a look at those two things, get the right arm working correctly and you'll find that you'll have much more control over the, the shaft of the club and the head of the club.